Fatima. And Mariam. And we're here today at Paul's pod- podcast talking about anime. Now, what is anime? Anime is a series of Japanese shows that go on of 20 to 30 minutes an episode and are world famous. Anime was first made by Azoma Team in the 90s. Most animes are hand drawn and often show and often have shows that replicate the book. So now let's get to the real question. What really are the best animes? Coming in the first place, in my opinion, we have uh, My Hero Academia. We are also known as Boku no Hero Academia. I understand why many people didn't like an- this anime, the toxic fandom, the weird ships, and sometimes just the anime in general. But if you ask me, I genuinely think My Hero Academia is a really good an- anime. It's about a boy without a power who wants to be a hero. He always had believed in himself until he asked the strongest hero in My Hero Academia if he was able to be a hero without powers or not. The hero uh, responds with a no, but if you fast forward into anime, Deku surprisingly enters a hero school. Next on the list is definitely Death Note. It's a worldwide famous popular anime and is one of the few that are firstly watched among newcomers. We understand why many people dislike this anime because of the ending, no spoilers, and people hate it for the graphics too, but the anime itself is super good. The graphics shouldn't be a really problem since the anime is really catchy and can easily hook you in, but we actually agree that the ending wasn't the best. Attack on Titan. Attack on Titan is a very catchy anime. The graphics are really good, although many people didn't like it because the giants were disturbing and the uh, fandom is very weird. Though it is still known as one of the popular animes and it is still also one of the most watched anime of all time. Another one we want to talk about is a very old anime that was super popular long ago. It's called Mobile Suit Gundam, MSG for short. It's still watched to this day but not as much. MSG is a science and military related anime with brave and caring characters. The fandom was wild about which suit was the best and which universe is the best. It's very amazing, even if it's not as detailed as the animes today, it's still known as one of the best. Following up next is Demon Slayer. The fandom is pretty chill though, their ships are extremely weird sometimes, but Demon Slayer is an anime full of action and heroic moments. The graphics and style are amazing. The characters make it even better. It is rated as number one anime and over millions of people watch it, though it is not recommended for young people due to disturbing fights and strong blood scenes. And we would like to end this off with a reminder that there are many other underrated animes. And you should definitely watch one of them. But if you are interested in anime, then go watch Coco Melon. Thank you for listening to our podcast. We'll see you soon. Bye bye.